Omokri exposes 30 alleged lies told by Peter Obi. Ex-presidential aide Renu Omokri is not backing down in his social media attacks against former governor of Anambra State, Peter Gregory Obi. Omokri, in a series of tweets on Monday, spoke on the alleged lies told by the 2023 Labour Party presidential candidate. As he wrote, lie one, that he brought an Amazon expert to testify at the PEPC. The person he brought is Mpe Clarita Oga, a field Labour Party candidate for the Yala Ogoga federal constituency in Cross River State, who admitted in court and on video that I am here to, I am here as an expert witness. I am not here on a mandate of Amazon. Two, that Nigerians should be ashamed since Tanzania has achieved full power sufficiency and had to shut her dams over excess power. Actually, Tanzania shut its dams after the ongoing cyclone Hidaya in the country and is currently facing nationwide power blackouts. Three, I won the Nigerian elections. The truth is that Peter Obi predictably came third, an election that the United States have now officially, through the State Department, admitted reflects the will of the Nigerian people, and in so doing, they corroborated inter- international observers. Four, I took Anambra from number 27 to number 1 in Wayek. Actually, Wayek does not grade by state, and the so-called number one improvement was a result of 46 Wayek slash Neko slack jamb exam, miracle centers, which made Anambra the exam malpractice capital of the world and almost got the state delisted until the Obiano government closed them down under pressure from Wayek two months after taking over from Obi. 5. I reduced poverty in Anambra. The truth is that, as averted by the current governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo, poverty in Anambra more than doubled under Peter Obi from 20% in 2004 to 68% in 2010, representing a 238% increase. 6. I love Muslims. Actually, Peter Obi plotted a religious war against the Muslim Umar in a leaked audio by People's Gazette. He filed to sue People's Gazette. However, more than a year later, he has not sued. Moreover, when asked directly by Charles Aniagolu on Arise TV if that was him on this tape, Peter Obi refused to answer, even though the question was repeated three times. 7. I studied marketing in Harvard. Peter Obi did not study at Harvard. He went for a short course that usually takes two weeks at Harvard at Harvard. To claim that he studied at Harvard based on that is deceptive, misleading and manipulative. Obi, on, on, Obi only has a first degree, a second class lower in philosophy from the University of Nigeria in Suka. Of all the presidential candidates during the Nigerian elections twenty twenty three, Pisa Obi was the least educationally competent. 8. If I am in government, I will, re- I will reject foreign aid. However, during his 8 year tenure as governor of Anambra, Peter Obi applied for and received foreign aid from multiple nations, including the United Kingdom and the USA. 9. Peter Obi lied that Tinwu paid for 1,411 1, people to go for COP28 only with government money. Only 422 of the delegates of Nigeria were publicly funded, and not all of those publicly funded were financed by the presidency. 10. Peter Obi criticized the National Assembly for buying 400 SUVs and said he would have used it, he'd have used such money better. Actually, it was turned out that Peter Obi had purchased New purchased 400 SUVs for Anambra Igwes when he was governor. 11. The timing of Lagos demolitions is wrong. 
yeah, Peter will be personally led the demolition team to demolish illegal structures as Anambra governor. Additionally, he said nothing when Soludo demolished Anambra simultaneously as Lagos. 12. He claimed his budget as governor went wasteful, but he budgeted more for his office than for health in Anambra. 13. On November 2022, 2023, Peter Obi lied that he accompanied the President of America on a trip. Official records on the White House website indicate otherwise. 14. He claimed that the U.S. President pays for his own food, but a search on the White House website indicates that the White House food budget covers most of the costs of the U.S. President's meals, although there are some that the President pays for. 15. I employed 60% of Anambra people in IBL Brewery. IBL employs less than 0.06% of Anambra's nation. 16. Out of 15, out of 150 players in the American NBA, almost 100 are Nigerians, but Nigerian players in the NBA are less than 3%. 17. I did not leave debt in Anambra, he left debt according to the debt management office. 18. Tinubu sent out WhatsApp messages against me that I would destroy Lagos. Actually, a blast was sent out by Powell Glad Lebe and Obedience. 19. Nigeria exported less than $30 billion in 2021. Nigeria has exceeded $30 billion in exports for over a decade. 20. I am the first governor to be impeached and reinstated in Nigeria. Actually, Ladoja was the first. 21. I have never been involved in corruption. According to the International Cons- Consorti- Consortium of Investigative Journalists, Peter Obi corruptly ferried money out of Nigeria and stashed it in secret accounts. For this, he was investigated by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. EFCC in 2022, and that case has not been officially closed. 22. My investment in SAB Miller is worth $100 million. Actually, the OB government invested of $12.24 million is now only worth $5.38 million. 23. The governors of the Southeast founded ESN. Actually, ESN was founded on December 13, 2020 by Enam Di Kanu. 24. I only have one wristwatch. Peter Obi has been photographed with multiple wristwatches. 25. I don't fly private jets. Although Obi has been pictured alighting from multiple private jets. 26. The British government apologised to me after detaining me at Heathrow. Enquiries from the UK High Commission in Abuja indicated no such apology was offered by the British government to Mr. Obi. 27. Peter Obi claimed NEXT was dissolved. Investigations revealed that the UK government did not dissolve the company. Rather, it was punitively struck off after failing to file annual returns. 28. Peter Obi claimed that apart from Venezuela, Nigeria is the only OPEC nation not meeting its quota. That is a lie. Data from OPEC's national OPEC website shows that no OPEC country meets its production quota. 29. He said that Nigeria has 60% of its youth unemployed. However, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, this is false. And finally, 30. Peter Obi claims he is a nationalist, but as a governor, he threatens to sack non natives of Anambra in the Anambra State Civil Service, an unconstitutional act. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified of the daily content here on this channel and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own